Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to edit an existing image, how to use the Playground AI image editor, and how to even draw an image for you to work with. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I have already published two videos in this series. They are linked in the description below. I also have timestamps for all the chapters of today's video. So if you want to reach a specific section, you can just get to them directly. All right, let's get started. So today I'm going to use this section called image to image where they have two functionalities. One of them is to upload an existing image and another one is to draw an image to use as inspiration. I'm going to use this image which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'm going to keep my model at Stable Diffusion 1.5, keep my image dimensions as 512 by 768, keep the prompt guidance at 18, image quality at 50. I'm going to do it one image at a time and I'm also going to keep this session private. To get started, all you do is to click this plus button which will open up the place for you to select the picture. I'm going to select the runner right here. So now you have a picture right here that it will take inspiration from. The image strength decides how much the AI will rely on the actual image. So if you do an image strength pretty high, it's going to keep any images it generates pretty close to this original picture. And if you keep it pretty low, it's going to get farther and farther away from it. Let me try something in the middle uh, around 50. And for this guy, I'm going to try adding some muscles. and it generated a guy with a lot of muscles. This kind of looks like if He-Man was running a marathon. Now I'm going to get my image strength all the way down to 10 and regenerate this image. As you see, I mentioned that I wanted some muscles. It took the inspiration from this image. However, it went pretty far away from the original picture. It's still a guy with a full body image, but he's not running. He's not a marathon. He doesn't look like a runner at all. Uh, but if I put the image strength all the way to say 80, let's see what it generates this time. Even though I said I wanted to add muscle, it made him slightly more muscular, but kept him almost the same as the original picture. So if you want to use an existing image, make sure to set the image strength correct or the image may vary quite a bit. What I've noticed in these images is the face changes quite a lot. So the original picture, which is this person, looks pretty different from this guy. Here's where the image editor comes in handy. So with this image selected, I can just click edit with mask and click add mask. Now I can highlight the sections that I want my changes to appear in. I can use this section to change the size of the masking. So if I keep it at 50, I can use a mask of this thickness. So it's going to only change the arms. So now if I say add muscles and regenerate this image, it should only add muscles to the arms. So the face stays the same, the rest of the body stays the same. It only made the arms a bit muscular. Now let me try adding some muscles on his right leg. And I add some masking right here. As you see, it has muscles on the both the arms and the right leg. The other leg is unaffected. Actually, it did add a little bit of muscle on the part of this leg, which was touched by this mask. So it's doing a pretty good job at the masking. For the last edit, I'm going to reduce the mask thickness a little bit and add it right here. Let's see, add longer hair. There we go. So I had added a mask on his hair and his hair now is a bit longer than before. You can also do this invert option, which is this button right here. So it uses the sections you masked and keeps them the way they are and changes everything else. So this is uh, really interesting. Um, not what I expected, but I want to explain what happened here. So I had kept the biceps and this uh, leg the same and I wanted long hair. So I didn't change the prompt. So it just covered the picture with long hair everywhere else. So it's actually working as expected, just my masking was confusing to it. Let me try to make it a bit more relevant. So I'm going to say add trees. Okay, so it kept the biceps the same, the leg the same. The face changed a little bit because I, I have not had that selected. And added a lot of trees in the background. And 
yeah i'm pretty happy with this image so it did what it was expected to do if you're happy with this image you can click save changes so i think you got the idea of how to use the image editor and use the mask in the proper way uh, the last thing i wanted to mention for this video is the draw option so there's this pencil icon you can click and you can actually draw something right here since uh, today's valentine's day i'm going to try drawing a heart i'm going to show you what happens if i say add roses all right so when i say add roses it adds some roses in the background so i've seen some glitches in this functionality and i think they haven't completely built this up yet and there's some bugs that still exist but the goal of this functionality i think is if you were to design a new product or something that's in your head you can draw the product out and get uh, the ai outputs of that to see how the product might look like i think this functionality has a lot of use cases where you can design your own products and if you want to brainstorm something on your ipad you can get ai generated versions of your product and see how it might look like in real life i would encourage you to try editing some of your own images maybe use some of your own pictures and see if you can change them around according to your needs if you did get some value from this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel till the next video in this series thank you so much